Yo, you're talking to this chick? Yo, she's so fine. She's not just fine, she's like a model. You <laughs> guys are preaching to the choir. I'm actually gonna ask her to be my girlfriend when we go out tomorrow night. Yo, dude, if she says yes, you'll for sure be the guy dating the hottest chick in school. Yeah, that's precisely the goal. <laughs> Coming through with a straight 10, my oh, man. <laughs> Yo, check it out. You get a stage five clinger. <laughs> Anna, rumor has it she's like in love with you, bro. Oh my God, could you imagine Mark, the star quarterback, and Anna, president of the chess club? <laughs> in her dreams, she's like two, 1.5 of best. Boys, phones away. All right, everyone. This will be your last assignment of the school year. Now, with a partner, I want you to power up a calculator using no battery. The instructions are on the board. So go ahead and choose your partners now. So which one of you guys is gonna be my partner? Oh, uh, sorry, bro. Um, me and Todd already chose each other. Seriously? You're just gonna leave me hanging like that? Don't take it personal. I need to pass this class, and we all know how bad you are at chem. Hey, you want to be my partner? Oh, sorry, I'm with Alexa. Hey, Mark, do you, do you need a partner? <laughs> no, uh, me and Ken are going to be working together. Yeah. Oh, OK. Um, maybe next time. Hi. Come on in. Let me introduce you to the class. All right. Class, this is Amber. Amber just came to Pasadena and she will be joining us for the remainder of the school year. Now, I know there's only a few weeks left, but I want everyone to make her feel welcome. And Amber will be here next year, the entire year with us. So you'll be seeing her then too. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? Oh, dude, oh, that girl's a 10 for sure. More like a 10 and a half. She's even harder than that chick you showed us on Instagram. You're right. So is there anyone that doesn't have a partner that would like to work with Amber? Me. I'll be your partner. OK, Mark, great. All right, Amber, this is Mark. The instructions are on the board, so you'll be working with him. Thanks. I'm Amber. It's nice to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. I hope you know what you're doing because I don't know anything about chemistry. Oh, chemistry's gonna be the least of our worries. <laughs> I hope so. My mom said she'd ground me for the entire summer if I don't pass this class. Well, we can't let that happen because how else am I supposed to take you out? <laughs> hey, Anna. I could be your partner. Really? Yeah, of course. And, and don't worry, I don't mind doing most of the work. I think it'll be pretty easy. I think so too. Okay, don't forget, your project is due tomorrow. Good luck. Amber, um, I know this sounds a little bit odd because you transferred at the end of the school year, but this project will pretty much count as your final chemistry grade, because we have no other assignments. Okay, thanks. All right. I really can't fail this class. You better know what you're doing. Don't worry, I got you. By the way, what are you doing tomorrow night? <laughs> Boom, I got a number. Yo, dude, you're a savage. I don't see how you do it. It gets better. She's going to come out with us tomorrow night. Wait, well, what about that girl from Instagram? Nah, forget her. I'm going to take Amber. Why be with a 10 when I can be with a 10.5? <laughs> Dude, everyone on the team is gonna trip when they see you with her. Hey, watch it! I'm so sorry. Hey, is this Mark? <laughs> can I please have my notebook back? Oh my God, this is Mark. <laughs> what are you, like some kind of stalker or something? No, please, I... This is crazy. <laughs> There's more. You're like obsessed with him. <laughs> I'm not messing around. I, I really need my notebook back. Hey, can you just give her back her notebook? 
Whoa, what is this? Revenge of the Nerds? <laughs> you want the notebook back? Here. Go get it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, why did you throw Anna's notebook? I was just joking around. Well, it doesn't look like Anna thought it was funny. If this happens again, all of you are getting detention. What had nothing to do with it? Yes, you did. You could have easily stopped it, but it looked like you were having fun. Could you two please excuse us? And actually, Mark, if you weren't so busy playing around, you wouldn't be on the verge of failing my class. What are you talking about? I just graded last week's exams, and you scored the lowest out of anybody in my class. And if you don't get an A on this project, you will not pass. Really? Oh well. I wasn't planning to use my grades to get into college anyway. Don't think that football will save you. According to the new regulations, any athlete that fails any class will be benched. What? You can't be serious. I am. And it doesn't matter how good you are. Now, Mark, may I make a suggestion? Instead of making fun of Anna, you should try to be more like Anna. She scores the highest grades out of any of my students in any of my classes. Think about that. So? I have to get an A on the project or I can't play football next year. What? No, we can't lose our quarterback. There's no way we're gonna win without you. You think I don't know that? What's your game plan then? Oh, I think I have an idea. Let's see if I can speed by it. Hey, Anna, can I talk to you for a sec? Um, uh... To apologize for earlier? Okay, that's fine. So, uh, look, I'm I'm really sorry for what happened in the hall. My friends can be really mean sometimes. Well, that's all right. You didn't do anything. Yeah, but I, I could have helped stop it. By the way, I thought your drawings were amazing. Oh my gosh, that was so embarrassing. No, not at all. I, I like them, honestly. Really? Yeah, I mean, you're super talented. President of the chess club, an artist. What can't you do? Thanks. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I'm still mortified about everything that happened earlier. Oh, don't be. The funny thing is, I um actually always liked you. I was just too nervous to do anything about it. But now that I know you feel the same way, I was, you know, hoping we could hang out sometime. What? Really? Yeah, maybe we can go out tomorrow night, like uh, on a date. You want to go on a date with me? Why not? I mean, you got beauty and brains that's really hard to find. Well, that's really sweet. Tomorrow night works great. Perfect. I was also hoping maybe we can work on the, the calculator project together, you know, after all. Oh, I would love to, but I already promised Nelson that I'd be his partner. Oh, he'll be fine with it. Watch this. Hey, Nelson, can I steal your partner? Me and Anna are going to be together. So he's cool with it. I don't know. I mean, who's going to be Nelson's partner? She can be with uh, Amber. Uh, does she want to? Sure. I gotta run, but um, here's my phone number. And just text me and we can work on the project after school. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Mark. Hey. Cheating on me already. You really think I'd be with a girl like that? I actually just figured out ways for both of us to get A's in chemistry. Really? Yeah, and you don't have to lift a finger. 
So you can spend all that extra time finding fun places for us to go this summer. I like the sound of that. Hey, what happened to you last night? I thought we were gonna work on the project together. Well, what do you mean? I waited for your message, you never texted me. Yes, I did. I, I sent you like five text messages. Look. Well, that's weird. I, I didn't get anything. What number did you text? Uh, the one you gave me. Hmm? Oh, I see. You put the number in wrong. It's the last number's an eight. Oh, but I texted exactly what you put on my notebook. Oh, I, I just got this number. So I, I wrote it down wrong. That, I'm such a fool. But it looks like you finished the project. Yeah, well, I wasn't sure if you wow. were to do it. Well, this is impressive. And, <laughs> okay, it works. You made this? Yeah, me and Anna. I'd say it was 50-50. Oh, well, I didn't realize you switched partners. Okay, Mark. Well, if I had to guess, I would say you will be playing football next season. Good job. Thanks. You're the best. You're welcome. Hey, uh, are we still on for tonight? Oh, I was gonna talk to you about that. Mm -hmm. See, I don't feel... Yo, tonight is going to be lit. I got a 7 p.m. Giovanni's reservation, just yeah. like you asked. Can you guys give me a minute? Uh, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're coming too? Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. I don't want to go alone, so I invited Todd and Ken. I hope that's cool. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, no, no problem. Okay. Text me. Just change the last number two and eight. I'll do it now so I don't forget. You got it. Sounds great. Oh, hold on, um, how should I dress tonight? Wear whatever you want. Okay, um, I guess I'll dress nice since it's a, a date. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Are you sure you don't want to get an order in? Um, no, not yet. Unfortunately, we can't hold the table for more than an hour if you don't order anything. Okay. If he's not here in a few minutes, I'll just leave. Sorry. Hi. I have a reservation under the name of Mark. Mark. Great. Just give me a sec to make sure your table's ready. Man, tell me she's not a dime. <laughs> yeah. She is for sure. I even heard some random guys saying she's the hottest girl in school. Really? Nice. It's crazy how you got her to hang out with you so fast. Yeah, you guys almost ruined that by saying my plan in front of Anna. <laughs> well, if you would have actually told us the plan, then we never would have. <laughs> so what'd you say to get out of hanging out with her tonight? Nothing. What do you mean? I literally said nothing. I figured if I didn't respond, she wouldn't show up. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You mean you didn't even cancel on her? <laughs> what if she's here? <laughs> No one in the right mind would turn up, and even if she did, that's why I had you reschedule the reservation for an hour back. Uh, Mark? Anna? Why didn't you answer any of my texts? You obviously got them. Uh... You answer over an hour late. You said our date was at seven. <laughs> date? <laughs> Is that really what you thought this was? <laughs> Look, let, let me break it down for you. Uh, Mark would never go out with someone like you. <laughs> yeah, he only dates tens. Not one and a half. <laughs> Aren't you gonna say anything? What, they're not lying? Only day tens. No offense. So, everything that you said ab about liking me, it was all a lie? Don't take it so personally. I just needed help with it. The project. Now I get it. I can't believe I fell for it. Oh, come on. You honestly did not think a guy like me would be interested in a girl from the chess club. <laughs> <laughs> you... You used me? I'm sorry, sweetheart. But don't hit the player. Hit the game. <laughs> Savage. Your table's ready. Great. 
Mark goes on to have a great night with Amber while Anna leaves in tears. A couple of days later, Mark and Amber find out they both got A's. They both celebrate and plan everything they're going to do over summer together. Mark and Amber spend a lot of time hanging out with each other. They end up getting really close. And over time, Mark even asks Amber to be his girlfriend. When the next school year starts, Mark's so proud to have the hottest girl in school. Or so he thought. Man, this year is already harder than I thought. Right? I got a C minus on my last geometry quiz. You guys gotta work smarter, not harder. How'd you pull that off? I got Trish doing my math homework. I got Bianca doing history and some other girls doing the rest of my classes. <laughs> wow, and all while dating the hottest chick in school. I don't know how you do it, man. I guess you could say I'm a... Who, who is that? Wait, is that Anna? No, it, it can't be. Dude, she, she's not just a 10. 10, 10 and a half, 11. Dude, she might be even hotter than Amber. You guys are right. Anna? Yeah? You, uh... Mm-hmm. Look amazing. Uh, yeah. Uh, what, what, what he said. Thanks. How did you... When did you... I'm sorry, I'm really confused right now. How did you transform? Well, after you hurt me really badly, I decided to really focus on myself. So I got rid of my braces, got some contacts, and found a new skincare routine. I'm gonna need that skincare routine. Sure. Anyways, um, take care. Don't, why are you walking so fast? I'm, I'm trying to talk to you. What are you doing tomorrow? I don't know. Why? thinking we could go on a date. Oh, uh, No games this time. Seriously. I thought you were going out with Amber. We're not exclusive. Really? Yeah. But I'd definitely settle down for you. I'd choose you over Amber. That's really sweet, but um, I already have a date. Who? With a guy who liked me for who I was all along. You're gonna choose nerdy Nelson over me? What can I say? I'm into beauty and brains. Too bad you can't offer both. Are you kidding me? I'm getting A's in all my classes. <laughs> yeah, well, not for long. I can't believe you used me. What are you talking about? I'm never letting you copy off me ever again. What just happened? Oh, I figured out what you were doing, and I told Trisha. Next, I'm going to have a little chat with Bianca and all the other girls. No, you can't do that. It'll ruin everything. How do you even know all of them? Next time you try and use people, make sure they're not all in the same chess club. Word gets around pretty quickly. Whatever. It doesn't even matter anyways. Amber's way hotter than you. About that. I'm not sure how she's going to feel after I play her this. We're not exclusive. Yeah, <laughs> but I'd definitely settle down for you. I'd choose you over Amber. You recorded me. I had a feeling you might say or do something douchey. Delete that right now. What? I sent the whole conversation to Amber. Good luck with that. I can't believe you did this. As they say, don't hate the player, hate the game. Great, now Amber's calling me. Hey, baby. What do you mean don't call you baby? <laughs> You're really gonna believe her. What do you mean don't baby you? Checkmate. Oh man, how did I not 
see that coming. <laughs> um, is that chess? Um, yeah. Want to play with us? Um, no. We do not want to play with you. <laughs> look at us. Does it look like we'd ever want to be seen with nerds like you? <laughs> Swear the freshman class just gets dorkier every year. <laughs> Wow. I always hear that people in high school can be mean, but I never thought it'd be this bad. I know, right? Do you want to play again? Hey, girls. Whoa! <laughs> Bethany? I go by Bia now. Bethany was so middle school. <laughs> you spent all summer in Miami with your dad, and you come back looking completely different? What happened? It's my new look. Do you like it? Um, yeah, but what was wrong with your old one? Hey, take that off and change the lock screen. I don't want anyone to see that. Look, it's freshman year of high school, and I want to leave all that nerdy stuff behind and start fresh. And I think you guys should too. I don't get it. Why? If you don't have to change who you are to impress anyone. Agreed. But you do have to change if you don't want to get picked on. So first off, we're actually done playing these dorky games. But you love chess. You were the one who introduced it to us in the first place. Yeah. Well, that was middle school Bethany. High school Bia doesn't play those games anymore. And second, you need to take off these glasses. Uh, how are we supposed to see? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't. I didn't see you there. Oh, totally okay. It happens. I'm Kyle. Are you new? I haven't seen you around before. I'm Bia. It's my first year here. Seriously? Yeah. I, I, I swear you're like a, a sophomore or junior. OMG, Jamie, what is that girl hanging out with the dorks doing with Kyle? Kyle's just probably being nice. Are you sure about that? What do you think of the school so far? I like it. Yeah. Hey, Kyle. Oh, hey, what's up, Jamie? Not much. Do you mind if I talk to her for just one second? Oh, sure, no problem. Oh, well, it was nice meeting you, Bia. Bye, Kyle. So, Bia, I'm guessing that you're new here. I'm Jamie, I'm a junior. Do you want to come sit with us at the cool kids' table? We'll show you the ropes. Really? Mm hmm. Okay. Um, can my friends come, too? Oh, no, no offense, but we don't really like to be seen with people like them. I've known Allie and Cara since elementary school. Look, if you want to be cool in high school, then I'm sorry, but those dorks cannot be your friends anymore. So, what do you think? Do you want to come sit with us, or not? Um... Hey, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll just catch up after school. Okay? Whoever this new Bethany is, I don't like it. That's not Bethany. That's Bia. Rematch? Welcome back to a new year, class. We actually have some exciting news. Everyone say hello to Nelson. He's actually the first freshman in our high school's history to be in junior level math. Hi, I'm really excited to be here. <coughs> Nerd! <coughs> You were so right about the freshman class. They are super dorky this year. <laughs> okay, class, settle down. Have a seat, Nelson. Miss Michaels? Sorry, I'm late. Oh, I almost forgot. Everyone, please welcome Bethany. We actually have not one, but two freshmen taking this class. It's actually Bia. Oh, I'm so sorry, I'll make a note. So, is it Bethany or is it Bia? Bia. Definitely Bia. How the heck do you skip two years of math? Yeah, you must have been like super nerdy in middle school and like studied a lot. <laughs> no, I, I just, um... Hey, hey Bethany, you look so different. Not like in a bad way or anything though, but isn't it cool we're in the same class? <laughs> do you know him? N no. Yeah, you do. It's me, Nelson. Remember? 
We went to the middle school dance together. We played chess Who together. Who can solve this problem? Nelson. 159.6. That is absolutely correct. Well done. Yeah, well done, Nelson the nerd. <laughs> Enough. Do that again and you're getting written up. So what happened with Kyle? Oh, I'm not worried. <laughs> like I said, he's just being nice. There's no way he'd ever go for a freshman. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I was talking to Coach. Have a seat. What? <laughs> You're in this class, too? Wow. You must be pretty smart. Mm, not really. I just got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and you're modest. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe you can help me study sometime. Seems like he's more inter than you think. You might have to do some interference. Hey, Bia. You know that homecoming's coming up, right? You should go with Nelson, since, you know, you two used to date in the past and stuff. <sighs> I can't believe we made it through our first day of high school. Barely. Ugh, I hate high school. I know. Some of those people were so mean. Especially the upperclassmen. I miss middle school. How was your first day, Beth? I mean, Bea? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, and I love high school. I'm so happy middle school's over. The only thing I'm excited for is the high, high school chess club. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Bia's talking to those dorks again. Mm, can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> so your mom's still taking us to tryouts, right? Oh, I am. Hey, Bia, come over here for a second. What's your plan right now? Don't tell me you're gonna be hanging out with those four-eyed freaks, are you? I overheard them say something about chess club. <laughs> Seriously? How lame. Ew. Um, well, we're gonna go to the mall, so do you wanna come with? Unless you plan on hanging out with them. N no, I was just saying bye. I would never go to some chess hey, club. Hey, honey. <laughs> Ready for me to take you to chess club? Um, what are you talking about, mom? I I'm going shopping with my new friends. Uh, uh, you don't want to try out? I thought you loved shopping. I know, I, it's my favorite hobby. I'll just see you when I get home, okay? Are you sure? Uh, I mean, okay. You just, you just get there safe and text me when you get there, okay? Can you give me a sec? Mom, you're embarrassing me in front of my new friends, see? I told you that I have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Kyle's not even gonna ask her. <sighs> okay, be safe. And, and text me when you get there. Okay. Hey, Bia. Hey, hey, hey. Kyle. I, I had a question I wanted to ask you. Um, if it's about math class, I don't think I'll be able to tutor you. Honestly, I don't even know how I got into that class in the first place. No, 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 it's not about tutoring. Oh, okay. I, uh... I wanted to see if you had anyone to go to homecoming with. I, you know, if, if you're not going with Nelson, I, I was thinking maybe we could go together. Okay. Yeah. I like that a lot. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. I'll see you around. I'll see you around. Okay. Oh, heck no. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Oh my gosh, that is so cute that Kyle just asked you to homecoming. You know, since you're going, we should totally go makeup shopping and like give you a makeover or something. What do you think? Sure. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. <laughs> Come on. Hey, what's up? What's up? You totally ditched us for Regina George and her posse. Can you stop? They're not mean girls, and they're actually super nice. No, they're not. Okay, I don't get it. Why are we helping her buy makeup to go to homecoming with your guy? You really think I'm helping her? Just don't say anything and follow my lead. I can't believe you didn't come to tryouts. Yeah, 
Even if you think chess isn't cool anymore, it's like I said. You shouldn't have to change who you are to impress anyone. Just be your true self. This is my true self. Well, my new self. Sorry, I, I gotta go. Who is that? Oh, uh, just my mom. Oh. What did you find so far? Just a few little things. Oh, no, you're gonna have to put all of that back. Really? I thought... Well, no, you... trust me, I know what Kyle likes. We've literally been friends since we were little kids. I'll make sure that you look perfect for homecoming. We'll even do your hair and makeup, won't we, girls? For sure. Uh, of course. <laughs> oh, you guys are the best. I really appreciate this. What are besties for? <laughs> Okay, you're done. Why don't you take a look? So, do you love it? Uh, um, I don't know. I, I feel like my foundation doesn't match. My, my lips look funny. My eyeshadow. No, no, just trust me, okay? This is the new trend now. Like, it's very chic. I mean, Kyle is just gonna be obsessed. OMG, I cannot wait for Kyle to see your new look. I know. You know what? Let's post this on my V Reel. Are you sure this looks okay? Yes, just smile. <laughs> Someone call the fire department, cause girl, you are smoking. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <Ooh. laughs> he stole my line. <laughs> hey, Via. Hey, Kyle. You look great. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Do you like it? It's a, it's a different, but I like it. And if it's what you like, I'm totally cool with it. Thanks, Kyle. Yeah. That's really sweet of you. <laughs> oh, I love this song. <laughs> hey, this is gonna sound cheesy, but may I have this dance? You may. Oh God, I can't believe that didn't work. I'm gonna have to take it up a notch. So, Nelson, hmm. you went to middle school with Bia, right? Who? Oh, Bethany? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she started going by Bia this year, I guess. Hmm. That's interesting. What else can you tell me about her? Yeah, oh, the hiker who puts the ball in this and captain of my son. Sorry, boys, I need to borrow them. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Scram. Sorry. What's up? Okay, I was able to get rid of all the teachers. I just told them that there was like a creep walking around the school or something. But we only have a few minutes, so here's the plan. I'm having a really good time with you. Same. Honestly, I never thought you would have asked me. I know I haven't known you for very long, but from what I do know, I really like you. <laughs> I'm glad you bumped into me, knocked over my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone looking at us? So sorry, I, I gotta go. Hey everyone, I have a little announcement to make. You've all met Bea, right? Kyle's date, the pretty new freshman. Well, the truth is, she's been lying to all of us. Yeah, she's not some cool kid. She's actually just a huge, lame nerd. Yeah, and <laughs> her name isn't even Bea. It's Bethany. And she was the president of her chess club, but not only the president, but she also won a national tournament where a bunch of nerds get together to see who can be the nerdiest. I mean, <laughs> very cute, right? Yeah. And, oh, and she also dated Nelson, the king of the nerds. <laughs> so you're not some cool kid, Bethany. All you'll ever be is a pathetic loser. Not cool, Jamie. Not cool at all. Be a wait. Be, be, slow down. It's 
okay, Kyle. You don't have to act like you care. I know you want nothing to do with me. Look, look, I'm sorry for lying to you. What do you mean, lied to me? You heard what Jamie said. I am not who I'm pretending to be. Is anyone in high school? I get it. You're super smart. And you used to wear braces and glasses. A little bit of a nerd. So what? I think that's cool. You should never change who you are to impress anyone. You can take it from me. I regret it. I, I don't understand. I, you regret what? Well, when I first came to high school, I felt that pressure to be cool too. I mean, that's why I'm on the football team and not the chess club. <laughs> to be honest, I hate football. <laughs> Look. I, I had, I used to wear braces, <laughs> dorky glasses, the whole nine yards. And I hated it. I wanted to change it to fit in. But if there's one thing I realize now, you never change who you are to impress anyone. You should just be yourself. That's what my friends have been trying to tell me. Maybe you should listen to them. <laughs> and right, just for the record, I actually like Bethany a little better than Thea. <laughs> but that's just my personal opinion. Thanks, Kyle. Of course. What do you say we go grab some ice cream? And then I'll take you home. Sure. Just take me anywhere that's not here. Hey guys. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been acting. I was so caught up trying to be cool that I neglected my two best friends. Is there any way you guys can forgive me? on one condition. You have to join the chess club again. <laughs> Deal. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Oh, guys, this is my Kyle. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> Do you guys mind if I play? Like, it's been a little while, so I might be a little rusty. But... Sure, oh. go for it. <laughs> uh, Kyle? What are you doing still hanging out with Bia and all her nerd friends? It's not a good look. Did you not hear what I said about how fake she is? Okay. Actually, Jamie? It's you... okay, Kyle. I got it. First of all, it's Bethany. And second, I don't think my boyfriend minds hanging out with his new girlfriend and her best friends. So if you don't like the way we live because we're not self-loathing popular kids like you, that's fine, because frankly, we're not gonna change for anybody. Oh, and the only person that's fake is you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Watch it! Jamie, the principal wants to see you. We heard about what you did at homecoming. never cease to amaze me. I'm honestly not even sure why we had you audition. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies, but we're gonna have to give the lead to Julie again. All right, next up, we have Chase. Woo! Let's go, Chase! Come on, bro, you got this, you got this, man. That's my boy. Looks like you've got some fans already. Whenever you're ready. 
Stay right here, please don't let go. You and I can fix this. We don't have to be alone. I'm sorry. Thank you for taking the time to audition for us, but unfortunately, we're going to have to pass. Next. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you'll get it next time. Thanks, guys. I just really needed this role. My dad said that he's gonna make me play baseball again if I couldn't prove that I can act and sing. Well, at least you're good at baseball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not the point. Have you guys seen Madison? Yeah, she's still shopping. Wait, she chose to do that over this? That's messed up. <laughs> Doesn't she know that this is important to you? Hey, Chase. Uh, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry you didn't get the part. I was really rooting for you. Thanks. Pretty bummed about it, to say the least. Well, uh, if you ever need anything, just let me know. I'd be happy to help. Thanks, that's really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she's had a crush on you since like third grade, bro. Yeah, Did she realize? Whatever. Never gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Nah. <laughs> hey, babe, what's up? Where have you been? I had to carry all my shopping bags from the car myself. I have the audition for the musical today, remember? I've been talking about it for weeks. Yeah, so how'd it go? I didn't get it. See, I told you you should just stick to playing baseball. So are you gonna come help me with my bags? Yeah, I'll be there right now. Try to hurry, they're heavy. See you guys later. Man, I can't believe Ronnie got the part. I can. He's been taking voice lessons since he was like four. So. Hey, Ron. Congrats on getting the lead. That's awesome, man. Oh, thanks, but I'm gonna turn it down. What? Why would you turn a role like that down? Well, uh, I have a flight to New York this weekend because I got cast as an understudy on Broadway! Wow, that's incredible. Um, so who's gonna take over your role then? Uh, I think the director's gonna let Julie decide. It's actually pretty cool that I'm gonna let her. Anyways, ciao. Dude, you should totally tell Julie to choose you. I bond with that audition. I doubt she's going to pick me. That's not a bad idea, actually. Right? She's totally in love with you, man. You got to use that to your advantage. Come on. Yo, there she is. Go talk to her. Hey, she says she was going to help you, right? So just take her up on that offer. Right? Come on, act like you like her. I don't know, that's kind of messed up. Who cares, bro? Just don't be playing baseball for the rest of your life. Come on, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, don't tell her about Maddie. Hey, Julie, how's it going? Hey, I, I like your shirt. Thanks, I love your uh, shoes. Oh, thanks. <laughs> they look great on you. <laughs> um, so I know how you mentioned before that you'd help me out if I needed it. And, well, you have the voice of an angel, so I was kind of hoping that you could help me get better at singing like you. That's so sweet. Uh, I'd love to do that. Really? Absolutely. Thanks. Um, I also heard that the lead is open. I was hoping that you could recommend me for the part. Oh. I, um, I just figured with you and I spending so much one-on-one -on -one time together with you coaching me that I'd be ready to step into a role like that. You want to spend one-on-one -on -one time with me? Yeah. I always thought that we should hang out more. What do you say? Um, I say yes. Perfect. Can I get your phone? Uh, yeah. Text me.
We don't have to be alone. Stop, stop. I'm sorry, let me just run it again. Let's just move on to some dialogue. Hey, it's okay. Just relax. You got this. Let's take it from your line, Julie. I want to believe you. Okay. I want to believe you, but I can't. Stop, please, just let me explain. You lied to me. Didn't anyone tell you? The truth doesn't cost you anything, but a lie could cost you everything. You want the truth? Here's the truth. Okay, I... Um... Julie, can we chat? Sure. Are you sure about your decision? He was the worst out of all the guys who auditioned. He just has to warm up. He has a lot of potential. Do you really believe that? I mean, this is your reputation on the line, too. It is not going to look good if this plate bombs. I'll talk to him. Sorry I'm late. The coffee line was really long. Wow! Everything okay? Um, the director doesn't really like how you've been performing. Oh. Maybe this isn't the best role for you right now, but that doesn't mean that you wouldn't be great in another role in a different show. No, 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 no. I, I don't want to lose this. Look, I think I'm just nervous being around you. Because I've always liked you. Wait, what? You've always liked me? I thought you had a girlfriend, Madison. Madison, uh, no, 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 no. We're not serious at all. We actually just broke up a, a while ago. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Honestly, it's probably for the best because now I can spend more time with you. If you could help me get over the nerves, maybe I would perform better. Maybe if we hang out more and get more comfortable. R really? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. I would like that. Perfect. Julie, can we chat? I'll be right there. I'll put in a good word for you. Thanks. So Becky got mad because I told her she looked fat in her dress because it would look better on me. I mean, it would, you know? Ah. Slow down. Yeah. Are you good? Sorry, I'm just really hungry. We just had lunch. You just had lunch. You know I have a peanut allergy, but you still want to eat at that Thai place. Well, doesn't what I want matter? It does, I just... So after this, I was thinking we'll go back to the plaza. I want to find cute swimsuits for summer. Uh, actually, after this, I have to go meet up with Julie. Julie? Julie Pearson, the pepperoni face? What are you doing hanging out with her? You shouldn't call her that. That's not nice. <laughs> Julie's the reason that I got cast in the part that I told you about. So I need to like her. Like her? You like her? No, no, slow down. Not actually like her. Just pretend to for the play. I mean, have you seen her? There's no way that I would actually be into her. I'm only into you. I certainly hope so. That's her. Uh, I gotta get going. You better make it up to me. I will. Maybe we can go to the movies this weekend. No, I mean today. I'll send you a Venmo request. If you aren't going shopping with me, the least you can do is pay for my bathing suits. Okay, just don't go overboard. No promises. <clears throat> Oh, right. Um, how much is it? Give me 40. What? I always get the extra foot massage. It's funny running into you again so soon. Funny or fate? Why not both? I've actually been thinking a lot about you lately. I, I, I'm sorry, I know that I'm not doing great. You're just pretty tense. 
Why don't we do a shakeout? A shakeout? Yeah. It's an exercise to help you relax before you perform. Follow me. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 one. Let's shake it out. Feeling better? Yeah, I do. That helped a lot. You're pretty great, you know that? All right, um, let's get back to it. Sorry. Oh, are you hungry? I can make you something. It's all right, I'll survive. No, tell me what you want. Uh, you're allergic to peanuts, right? Wow, how did you know that? I mean, we have been going to the same school together for a while. <laughs> It's funny, um, I've known Madison twice as long and she doesn't remember half the time. Sometimes I think that she never really cared about what I wanted. Neither does my dad. If I didn't get this role, he'd be making me play baseball, which is his dream, not mine. I'm sorry. You should definitely keep going with acting, if that's what you love. How about this? What's your favorite restaurant? And we'll go there. I'm a simple guy. Darla's Diner is fine. I love their everything, everything burgers. burgers. No way. It's genius. Burgers on an everything bagel. I could eat that every day. Me too. Come on, I'll drive. Hey, babe, I just want to know what you think about me when the summer's over. Okay, let's shake it out. Here we go. One, two, three. 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 The day you come back my way, I'll be counting every minute to see your face. I'll be waiting till the day you come back my way. I'll be counting every minute. Cause though seasons have changed, oh, I, I still remain. Dude, you scared me. Well, what are you guys doing here? Just came to wish you luck. Yo, I can't believe you pulled it off. I'm, I'm shocked. Julie thinks that you like her. Yeah, has she not seen herself? <laughs> Yo, I mean the... <laughs> yeah, well, well, curtain is soon, so you guys should go grab your seats. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Come on, guys, I just need a moment. Okay. Ah, okay, right, okay. Right. Yeah. You got this. Hey, kill it out there. You got this. to do this thing? I'm ready. It's getting late. I should probably leave. You say you love me. I wish I believed. Stay right here. Don't let go. You and I can fix this. 
We don't have to be alone They say we can't What do they know? Can you protect me through the fire? Pull you close through the storm? We belong together You are my home There's nothing we couldn't do Because baby You were incredible. Are you kidding? The audience loved you. Well, um, I should probably use the bathroom before intermission ends, but I'll be right back. Okay. That was awesome, man. Yo, yo, how do you feel? Dude, I'm feeling really great. Oh my gosh, how did you learn how to sing like that? <laughs> Julie helped a lot, actually. I couldn't have done it without her. Hey, I told you it was a good idea, didn't I? Yeah, I mean, yo, once the show's run is over, you could finally tell her about your girlfriend. <laughs> Bro, let's talk about that later. All I know is she gonna be so heartbroken when she finds out you were just using her to get that part. Yo, I just... What? Julie. Uh, yeah, we should. We're, we're gonna go, go back to our seats tonight. Now. Yeah, hey, good luck on the rest of the show. So, you've just been using me? No, not at all. I mean, in the beginning, but the craziest no, thing... No, save it, Chase! I don't need you to lie to me anymore. Julie, please, I'm not lying to you, I swear. Hey, babe! Maddie, I, I didn't think you were coming. I wasn't, but I didn't have anything else to do tonight, so I figured, what the heck? Now's not really a great time. Wait, why is she coming? Did she just find out you were pretending to like her? Maddie, stop. All right, let's get to places for the second act. I want to believe you, but I can't. Please just let me explain. You lied to me. Didn't anyone ever tell you? The truth won't cost you anything, but a lie could cost you everything. <sighs> Julie, I don't want to lie to you. Uh, the line is, you want the truth, here's the truth. I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. Chase, what are you doing? Telling you the truth, what I should have done from the very beginning. Stop! You're gonna ruin the show. I don't care. This is the only way that I have a chance with you, Julie. I'm crazy about you. I know that I lied to you, that I used you, that I hurt you, and there are not even words to begin to describe how sorry that I am. Yes, in the beginning, this was all just a ploy to get the lead in the show. As I got to know you better, I started to fall for you. And I have fallen for you more and more every day since. Julie, you are the most talented, kindest, most beautiful girl that I've ever met. I've spent so much time thinking that what I wanted didn't matter until I met you. If there is any part of you that can find it in your heart to forgive me, I promise that I'll make it up to you. Girl, say yes! Julie, wait! Uh, everyone, stay in your seats. We're just gonna take a brief intermission. What do you want? Brought you something? Look, I know I can't expect you to forgive me, but I just wanted you to know that I broke up with Madison. Good for you. 
please, just give me another chance. You lied to me. I know, but we're still doing the show together. Actually, no, we don't. What? I talked to the director, and we've decided to go in a different direction for the rest of the run. After having to recast the first time, we decided to cast an understudy. So that means that... You're out. I'm sorry, Chase, but I can barely even look at you after what you did to me, let alone sing and dance with you on stage every weekend. How could you do this? Did you not learn anything from our show? Like my character says, the truth doesn't cost you anything. But a lie could cost you everything. Thanks for the food. Now, what do you think of these? <laughs> are they hot or are they hot? Yes. yes. I think I'm gonna wear them to that new club tonight. Yes, they're so cute. Yeah. But you do know they're red bottoms, right? Yeah, those are like thousand dollar shoes. There's no way you're going to be able to afford them. Mm -hmm. Unless you hit the lotto or something and didn't tell us. <laughs> right? Actually, I did, because... Hey, babe! No, that's who you're dating? Newton Winward? Please tell me you're joking. I know what I'm doing. Just trust me. Sorry I was late. I got lost on the way here. Oh, no, it's OK. You're just on time. Uh, you remember Emily Olivia from high school? <laughs> So, what do you think? About? Oh, uh, they look really nice on you. Thanks. I'm thinking about wearing them on our date tonight. Well, you, you don't need to buy these for me. I think you look great in anything. Don't be ridiculous. It's our one month anniversary. Of course I'm gonna go all out. Look, how are those working out for you? They're perfect. I'll take them. Great. They're going to be $1,200 without the tax. Uh, is that going to be cash or credit card? $1,200? That's so expensive. Chill, Liv. Uh, it'll be card. If I can just... Oh, no! Oh, I'm an idiot! What's wrong? Gosh, I can't believe it. I just realized I forgot my card at home. It's OK. Honestly, you don't need them. Even what you're wearing is fine. No, I want to look extra special for you. I can't wear these. Oh, what am I going to do? I'm just so, so sad now. Um, <laughs> you know what? Don't worry about it. I'll get them for you. What? Really? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to do that. It's really, it's too much. Are you sure? I want you to be happy. But if you don't, that's... Well, if you insist. I'm not going to fight you on it. <laughs> you can put it on this. Thank you. Right this way. Thanks so much, sweetheart. Oh, isn't he just the best? I mm -hmm. love him so, so much. <laughs> I told you I won the lotto. <laughs> He's loaded, and I've got him wrapped around my finger. <laughs> How else do you think I got this? Wait, he even got you that too? Dang, maybe I need to find me a rich, dorky guy mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Seriously. But I'm confused. If you're going to dinner with him, how are you going out with us later tonight? Oh, are you kidding me? There's no way I'm going to choose dinner with that loser over partying it up with my girlies. <laughs> I'll just uh, cancel on him and tell him I got a stomach bug or something. Do <laughs> you really going to do that? Uh, wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got your shoes. Are you ready to head out? Actually, there's one more store I have to go to. This is so soft. <laughs> mm -hmm. Isn't this jacket to die for? Mm -hmm. It would definitely make my outfit tonight. Yeah, but do you really need it? It looks expensive. Yeah, I just want to look perfect for you. Especially 
because you are so handsome all the time. How much is it? Well, it's real fur, which I have to warn you, you can't get it wet or dirty or it will completely ruin it. It's 4,500. 4,500? I don't think you need anything that expensive, sweetheart. Why not? Do you think I'm not worth it? No, look, it's not that at all. How would you even pay for it? I thought you said you left your card at home. I know, silly. I'll just put it on hold and then come back for it. Actually, let me call my sister and see if she can bring my card. Then I don't even have to go home. So, Newton, <laughs> what are you planning on getting Jenny for your anniversary? Oh. I already got her flowers and chocolates. <laughs> Is there something wrong with that? Well, flowers and chocolates are nice if we were in high school. That's not gonna impress a woman our age. Especially of Jenny's caliber. I'm pretty sure her last boyfriend got her flowers for their anniversary, and he didn't last more than six weeks. Well then, um, what do you guys suggest? Can you think of anything that she really wants? Something that she would consider is to die for? You think I should buy the jacket for her? No, no, I'm definitely not saying that. I mean, that would be really nice and all if you did, but it's totally not necessary. Yeah, I would only get it if you were looking to really win her over. Mm -hmm. Because between us, gifts is Jenny's love language. Um, should I surprise her with it or just give it to her now? You're really gonna do it. Oh, that's so sweet. Mm -hmm. Everything she said about you was so right, you in. <laughs> I would get it for her now. That way she can wear it before the club tonight. What? Dinner tonight. I meant your anniversary dinner. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to the club. Oh. Yeah. yeah. OK. Um, here goes. <laughs> that was so cool. All right. So that be cash or credit? Credit. Do you want that to be French? I'm gonna give it to you on the shoulder. Hey, just a heads up, the kitchen's gonna be closing soon. Um, okay. Uh, she should be here any second. Okay, no problem. Wait, isn't your boyfriend gonna see? Oh, please, I'm not an idiot. I blocked him from seeing my story. <laughs> now get in here. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Let me see the picture. Oh, it's so cute. cute. <laughs> Wait, you didn't cancel on him? No, I forgot to earlier. <laughs> then why not tell him you're not coming now? Because my best excuse is to say that I lost my phone. So I can't respond to him now. <laughs> so you're just gonna leave him there waiting all night by himself? Ah, savage! <laughs> hey, if you ladies like, we have VIP open. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Great, it's a thousand dollar minimum. Ooh. Oh. Never mind then. <laughs> hey girls. Not interested. Oh, I was just gonna ask if I could buy you a drink. Well, in that case, we'll take three of your best tequila. Top shelf, please. And you can put it on his tab. <laughs> How much exactly is top shelf? <laughs> Hi, just wanted to let you know that we're... Newton, 
Hey, man, I haven't seen you since high school. How you been? Good, good. Um, well, I guess they could be better. I was supposed to be celebrating my one month with my girlfriend, but I haven't heard from her. You remember Chen, right? Yeah, for sure. Actually, I think she's at Nightingale right now, dude. I saw it on her story. The club? No, you're, you're probably talking about someone else. Have you checked her Instagram? That's weird. I don't see anything. Did she block you? Cause I see it on my phone right here. Look. But, but, I, I don't understand. I. It looks like she lied to you, man. I guess some people just never change. What do you mean? What, you haven't heard the rumors? Well, I got some stories about Jenny if you want to know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, any ladies want to dance? Do you have a table here? Well, no, but. Not interested. I said, get lost. Oh my gosh, isn't that new bit? What's he doing here? Jenny. I'm surprised to see you here. I waited for you for two and a half hours at the restaurant. I texted you like 10 times. Why didn't you answer me back? Oh my gosh. Uh, the thing is, I lost my phone. Is that not your phone in your hand? Oh, <laughs> it, it is. Um, I, I just found my phone. It was in my purse, actually. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Oops. <laughs> Silly me. Uh, that's all right, I understand. You know what? Since we're all here, how about we get a table? Really? Yeah, my treat. He doesn't seem that mad. You literally can get away with anything. Wow, that coat does look great on you, and so do the shoes. Thanks, you're so sweet to buy them for me. <laughs> I have your bottle of Ace of Spades. I'll take that, thank you. I can't believe you got another bottle. Isn't each one like $300? Girl, no, I saw the menu, it's $1,500. <laughs> it's really expensive, that's for sure, but anything for my baby. <laughs> Want to have the first pour, my love? Yes. All right, here it goes. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. Newton, why would you do that? Oh. Whoops. It was an accident. Same way it was an accident that you didn't show up to dinner, right? I don't know what you're talking about. And besides, you should You know what? Friends. Save it. I know all about you and how you go from guy to guy just using them for money. I know how you blocked me from your story and stood me up to go out clubbing. And I know that you never loved me. The only thing you loved about me was my wallet. So, happy anniversary, babe. Newton, where are you going? Ugh, can this day get any worse? <clears throat> Whenever you're ready. This isn't ours, this is his. Oh, well, he already left. So, you gotta pay for it. Oh my gosh, how are we gonna afford this? I'm broke. Mm, same. You've gotta be kidding me. Well, let me see how much money I have in my purse. Hey, have you seen my purse? I can't find it anywhere. Not interesting. <laughs> what?
payments? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on. Is that your car? Yeah, it is. No but way. how can you afford the payments on that? Well, you just saved some money, made a few good investments, and... We make that sound really easy. <laughs> I mean, I can't even keep up with the payments on my hunk of junk car. I'm actually two months behind. Oof. Yeah. Oh, is that the collection company calling? <laughs> nope, nope, that's just a girl I went on a date with last night. Yeah. Um, I'll call her back later. You know, dating is very fun, but it is not a cheap sport, boys. Nope. You know, sometimes I wish I had your way with money, Felix. Yeah. Well, sometimes I wish I had your ways with women. Oh. oh. Felix has a crush on the neighbor. What? No, I no, 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 <laughs> Hey, why don't you introduce yourself? Yes. No, okay, you're kidding, right? I, I'm not just gonna walk up to a okay. random girl and introduce myself. No, 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 no. Myself. Look, come here. No, 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 Mac, I'm not talking to her. Anything. I'm not talking okay. to her. Oh, oh, my God. God. Okay, all right. Oh, I got it, I got it. Don't be fine. Oh, come on. Mm. <clears throat> Hello. Hey. Hi. Hey. I'm your new neighbor. I mean, you're you're my new neighbor. I mean, we were each other's new neighbors. <laughs> I'm Felix. Hi, I'm, I'm Teresa. Teresa. Oh, Teresa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. It was so nice meeting you. Yeah. Goodbye. I just made a complete fool of myself. I really don't know how you do it, Mac. It's honestly a piece of cake, all right? You are just overthinking it. I don't know. Right. Um, oh. Watch this, okay? What, look. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, what do you think he's saying? Probably the same thing he says to all the women he hits on. Didn't I see you somewhere? Did we have class together? <laughs> and she says, nope, I don't think so. And he says, but I am pretty sure that we had chemistry together. <laughs> You're smooth. <laughs> I've never heard that line before. <laughs> That's how it always goes. Let's see. Oh, look, they're already. Damn, That's it. Look at that. Oh, I would love to take you to dinner. Just here. It's okay. Here, just, just, just start shaving and a little bit. Here. Just like that, boys. Bada bing, bada boom. I got her number. Nice. I wish it was that easy for me. Hey, maybe you can give me some pointers next time. Oh, yeah, no, you should. I would too. love to. I would absolutely love to. But I can't. Because I have to take Holly on a date right now. So later, <laughs> all right? Oh, all right. Oh, see you, Corey. See you, man. Boy. All right, Mac. Like I'll see you. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> all right. He's such a legend. Uh, I don't know. See, I have a feeling one of these days, it's all going to come back to bite him. Hmm. Yeah, it, it didn't work out. He was a total player. Oh. It, he was like one of those guys who dates girls. No. Like it's a game. Wow. Yeah. I honestly can't even believe that people like that actually exist. Like it sounds like a like an evil villain from a video or something. Whenever you're ready, folks. Oh, um, actually, we can pay for that right now. We have to catch a movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let me see. Mm. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm just figuring out my portion. <laughs> Your portion? Yeah. Uh, you see, I am a hardcore feminist, real believer, and I just, you know, I don't want you to feel like you can't pay for anything. The last thing I want to be seen as is misogynistic, right? Right. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. No, I could go Dutch. That's, like, yeah. normal for a date. Um, I just, I don't have my wallet. That's fine, yeah. Uh, you can just Venmo me, you know? <laughs> oh, I don't trust any of those apps. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Uh, it's fine, I got it. No problem. There you go. All right, mind. I'll just go ahead and take that. I'll just go ahead and take that. Mm -hmm. I heard you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. can we get popcorn and candy before the movie? Yeah, of course, you know, why not? It's a weekend. <laughs> it's a lot of sugar though, right? Yeah. Mm. What was your favorite part of the movie? My favorite part? Yeah. Mm. Okay, I like the part where the main guy finally gets the girl. Ugh, yeah. nah, that part was lame. They need more like explosions, fight scenes, you know what I mean? 
I'm joking. Okay. All right. Haha, <laughs> you got me. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> I was close. No, I, I, I like the part at the end where they got together. I had a really good time with you tonight. And I was hoping maybe you'd want to go out with me again sometime soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, well, that... Uh, excuse me! Sir, ma'am! Sir, ma'am! <laughs> no. No, can't do that. I'm here. Please, no, please, I'm begging. Too late. Jacob's already been written up. Oh, sorry. This your car, huh? Oh, this thing? Oh, first. Um... Really, the, the hunk of junk, gross thing? Uh, yeah, that's, that's gross. No, I, I just have this thing where I hate seeing people get parking tickets. It's just a waste, you know? It's just my little Good Samaritan thing I like to do. It's, it's stupid, I know. Yeah, that's really sweet. Really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, well, I actually have a Porsche. It's down there. It's like black and cool. You can't see it from here, though. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm parked in the opposite direction. So. Oh, that way. Yeah, well, you should probably get going. Thank you for holding the ice cream. Though. Oh. That was really sweet. Yeah, I, like, I should get going. Yeah. yeah um, but I had a lot of fun, so. Oh, so did I. Hopefully I'll see you again. Yes. Yeah, you should probably go, though. Oh. So I haven't seen this one before. Yeah, I'm subscribed to the Darn Man app. So I get to watch all the videos before they come out on YouTube. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What's with the long face? Oh, she wasn't what you hoped for, huh? No, no, she was everything I could ever hope for, honestly. I... <laughs> I'm even thinking about giving up every other girl I'm talking to just for her. Wow. Yeah. Really? But, you know, I can't really afford any gas in my car, let alone another date. <laughs> At least you're still getting dates. I still can't talk to a girl, a, w <clears throat> a woman, without stuttering, so... At this point, I'd pay anything to have your skills. <laughs> you know what? Maybe you should pay Max, so he can teach you how to become a pickup artist. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine him teaching you. Wow. Uh, what? Oh, that's, that's, that's it. That is it. Okay, come here. What? <laughs> okay. I can teach you the ancient art of the pickup. For a reasonable price, of course, I can't do it for free. Wait, Mac, I was just kidding around. No, I'm 100% serious, bro. Look, you want a date. Mm -hmm. I need money. Okay, it's literally perfect. And with my help, you know, soon enough, the ladies won't be able to keep their hands off of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, first of all, I don't need ladies. Okay, okay I just wish Teresa to give me the time of day. Exactly. No, okay, I got you. I got you, my boy, okay? I can give you the game you need. And with a few changes, you know, like I'll like, tighten that up here. Uh, okay. <coughs> All right, and she will be eating out of the palm of your hand. No, 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 don't do it, Felix. Just be yourself, man. If you start playing games, sooner or later, you'll be the one that gets played. Oh, yeah, he's got a point. No, he doesn't. Okay, Corey hasn't had a date since the last time the Miami Heat won a championship. That's not right. What are you talking about? Okay, girlfriends, don't count, Corey. Uh, it's been so yeah, long. Right? It's just different, bro, okay? Just, look, uh, you trust me, right? <sighs> right? Okay, ow. Well, but, all right, how about this? How about this? If I can't get you a kiss by, like, this Saturday midnight, you don't have to pay me anything. But if I can get you that kiss by Saturday midnight, Will you pay my car loan? A kiss? Yes. You got yourself a deal. <laughs> yeah, baby, come here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tip number one. 
Females love when you're a little mean to them, right? It's like the less that you're interested in them, the more interested they become in you. Okay, that concept is called nagging. That doesn't sound like something a nice person would do. Well, it's not. That's exactly the point. You're catching on, buddy. Now see that lady over there? No, no, don't look, don't look. Go start a combo with her and then make fun of her uniform. And then what? And then bada boom, bada bing, you get her phone number, then we go. I feel like that bada boom, bada bing is skipping a bunch of steps. Nah, it's not, you're fine, just go. Come on, it'll be good. Just go, all right, go, 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 okay, 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 okay. All right, okay. <clears throat> Hi, what can I get you? Your uniform makes you look fat. Excuse me? I was joking. I guess you don't have a sense of humor. That's unfortunate. Do you need something? You're holding up the line. Um, yes. Um, your phone number. Can Next. I okay. Hi. I feel like such an idiot. Yeah. Maybe this was a bad idea. Hey. It's not a bad idea, okay? Just wait till I show you the next technique, okay? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, okay, yep. Hold that. Here we go. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's the stuff I face. Okay. There we go. All right. I don't even like these clothes. Just buy them, okay? I'll explain later. Now, see that female at the end of the line? Go up and start a conversation with her. Just. I hate it when you call women females. Well, I hate when you're annoying. Okay, do you want my help? Yeah. That's what I thought. All right, now, when you get to the front of the line with her, you're gonna pay for everything. The chicks love a guy who can pay for stuff. It's called ATMing. Mm. Think you can handle that one? I think so. Okay, I believe in you. Go get her, Tiger. Okay. Oh, and um, don't take no for an answer, right? No matter what, even if she's playing hard to get. All right. Okay, nothing will stop you. You were on stop. No, you are an animal. Go get her. Hey, nice choices. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I've gone a little over my budget, but, well, you know, I needed some nice outfits for this weekend, so. You said over budget. Well, I can, I can help with that. Really? You have a coupon or something? Uh, something like that. Hey, um, can you put this all together? It's all on me. Oh, no. I appreciate it, but I can't let you pay for my stuff. Oh, no, no, please, I insist. No, really, don't pay for me. I, um... Don't take no for an answer. Um, n no, 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 okay? It's, it's, it's really, it's okay. Um, I am not gonna take a no for an answer. Okay. All right. Um, well, I feel like guys that pay for things usually have some kind of angle. As long as you're not expecting anything, I won't stop you. Nope. No expectations here. <laughs> I'm Felix, by the way. Thanks, Felix. I'm Jennifer. This is really nice of you. Wow, oh, well, thanks. Um, so, Jenny, I mean, I don't know, I was thinking, maybe one day you'd like to go on a date or we could swap numbers? See, I knew it. What? I'm not gonna go out with you. So, if you want to return everything, I can pay for my own stuff. Don't take no for an answer. No, 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 no. Stop playing hard to get, okay? I will take you out sometime. Hard to get? Yes. Is that what you think I'm doing? See, that's the problem with guys like you. You think just because you pay for something that makes you entitled to whatever you want. I tried to tell you not to pay for me. You think I can't pay for myself or something? No, um, look, I'm, I'm really sorry. I, that wasn't... Hey, Everything okay? Hey. Uh... This guy thinks a woman needs a man to pay for her, and now he's trying to get my number. Hmm. Huh. Is that right? No, that's not what happened at all, <laughs> okay? That is exactly what happened. But, you know, I was just trying to be friendly because mm -hmm. I'm gonna go, okay? But you have an amazing day. It was so nice meeting you and <laughs> there's a lot of muscle in there. Pardon me, sorry, sorry, that's actually my stuff. That's, that's okay, Mac, your advice was terrible, okay? You almost got me beat up. But you didn't get beat up, okay? It's all right. Just stop being such a whiner about it, man. Everybody strikes out, even I do sometimes. Okay. It's just a numbers game. Okay, but talking to girls like it's some kind of game, that's not who I am. Mm -hmm. okay, I've told you many times, Mac, the only girl I wanna talk to is Teresa. Okay, I know, all right? I'm helping you practice for when you actually get a date with her, okay? So just 
Don't throw in the towel yet, man. Just have faith that this next trick is the best one yet. Okay, fine. Okay, what is it? I put these on. No, the only thing I like about this outfit is the yin yang emblem. Oh, come here. All right. The whole point about dressing like this is to stick out from the crowd to get ladies' attention, okay? And it's called peacocking. Remember that. Now, why don't we find you any random lady to go talk to? Got that? Yeah. Okay. I'll be right here. I got you. <sighs> go get him. <clears throat> Hello, ladies. Your outfit's a little loud. Are you like a magician or something? <laughs> Maybe. How about we make your friend here disappear so I can take you on a date? <laughs> nice try, buddy. Maybe try dropping the cheesy pickup line. And change your clothes. <laughs> <sighs> yep. Sorry about that, bud. That was a little rough, huh? But you know what, for what it's worth, I thought that disappearing line was really funny. So maybe I'm thinking we work in some humor in the no, next one. No, 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 okay, that's it. Look, I just want my clothes back, okay, Mac? I don't I want to do I this anymore. What? Like... what? No, look. <laughs> Teresa, hey. Interesting outfit. Where'd you get it? I'm guessing you're being sarcastic. I look like I just got done performing at the circus. It's a bit much, but I like that symbol. Yin and yang, the balance between two opposites. Yes. Wow, um, I do too. I was a philosophy major in college, so I'm a little bit of a nerd. No way. Me too. That's so cool. So I was wondering, maybe you'd like to go out sometime? Um, talk about philosophy? Yeah, that'd be awesome. How's Saturday? Oh, Saturday night's perfect. I'd ask if you want me to pick you up, but I guess I could just walk next door. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'll see you this weekend. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, she's gone. So that just happened. Yeah, it did. See what I said, man? Trust the process, right? Now we just gotta get you a kiss. Here's what I'm thinking, okay? I, I have another one. Why can't philosophers be chefs? I don't know. Why? They don't know what to cook first, the chicken or the egg. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got lots of philosophy jokes. It's one of the beauties of just sitting around and thinking all day as a major. Are you ready to order? Yes. Uh, I will take some more free bread and... Uh... Oh, yeah. Um, some more free water. Thank you. Uh well, you've already had like four baskets of free bread and we're actually getting ready to close soon, so. Oh, okay, then you better hurry then. Thank you. <laughs> How are you liking everything so far? It's lovely. Could we please get the check? Sure. Thank you. I'm actually gonna run to the bathroom and wash my hands. Okay. Hey, buddy. What do you think you're doing? I think it's going really good. Yeah, you know, I feel like I can finally be myself around her. Okay, yeah, that, that's exactly the problem, dude. At this pace, maybe we'll get her to kiss you in like, I don't know, six months? Oh, that's okay, I'm not really rushing things. Okay, yeah, um, you're gonna do exactly as I say, all right? <laughs> Remember, neg her, pay for her, peacock, and then bada bang, bada, bada boom. Okay, I got it, okay, now can you please? Not yet, no. Uh, okay, put this in your ear and call me. Okay, if I put this in, do you promise to just go and leave me alone? Yes. She's gonna be here any minute, yes, just okay, go, just okay? Cover yourself up. You just... Go, 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 go. Oh. Okay, go ahead and nag her, ask her what took her so long. Where'd you get that hat? What took you so long? What do you mean? I told you I was going to the bathroom to wash my hands. Okay, go ahead and hit her with another nag, maybe. Uh, oh, make fun of her breath or something. Uh, you didn't happen to find a mouthwash in there now, did you? Oh, uh, stay, stay on top of the jacket, it's coming in. Oh, I'll take care of that. Um, let me see how much I owe. Oh, I'll let her pay. No, 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 really, okay? Your money is no good here. No, I told you I don't like when guys pay for me. Let me Venmo you at least. Okay. Feisty one on our hands. 
Repeat exactly after me. Sweetheart. Sweetheart. I am the man. And I will take care of this. You know, I thought you were genuine, but I'm starting to see your true colors. You want to pay for it? Then pay for it. No, Teresa. Okay, wait, I can... Felix, 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 I got... Teresa, wait, please. I just want to talk to you, okay? Can you please give me one more minute? Okay, look, I'm really, really sorry for how I treated you, okay? I didn't know how to talk to you, so I had my friend tell me what to say. Now, I know it's not an excuse for how I treated you, so... So everything you said to me was a lie? No. No, not everything, no. Just when you came back from washing your hands. Before that, it was all me. I swear. Look, um... From the bottom of my heart, I think you're an amazing person. You're smart. You're funny. You're beautiful. I promise not to do this again, okay? If you just give me one more chance. I don't know. Yeah. All right. If you can make me laugh, I'll give you another chance. Oh, come on, Felix. Make it count, buddy. Really? O okay. Um, what is the philosophy of a skunk? I stink, therefore I am. <laughs> Wait, I have one. I have a better one. I have a better one. What is a sweet potato's philosophy? I think, therefore I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you win. I'll go out with you again. Good night, Felix. Good night. Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you slapped, put me down. Oh, you did it. Uh, you right. did it, okay. you beautiful fool. <laughs> yeah, and guess what? What? Not thanks to you. Hey. Hey, come on, that hurts, man. My, my, my methods may be unorthodox, but they definitely got you a kiss before midnight. Mm-hmm. Actually, no, they did not. Okay, we are just splitting hairs at this point. No, not really. We're not splitting hairs. <laughs> it's like a minute past. Your advice was terrible. Corey was right. I just needed to be myself all along. You should try that more often. Come on, Felix. I helped a little. Buddy, F Felix, come no. on. What the heck, Blake? I am so sorry, Jordan. I really didn't mean to. How would you like it if I sprayed you, huh? You know what? Let's find out. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's... Oh. Stop it, Jordan! Blake said he was sorry. It was an accident. What, you want some too? That's what I thought. I'm so confused. What in the world has gotten into him? No idea. He wasn't always so mean. I heard his brother's in the hospital. Maybe that has something to do with it. Looking good, guys. Here's 20. Oh, uh... It's only 10. <laughs> you know, it's a tip. Ah, go take it. I like how you've been taking care of my car over the past year. You deserve it. Thanks, Mr. Johnson. That's really nice of you. You're welcome. Love the work ethic, guys. Keep it up. Great day. <sighs> All right. Let's see. So, how's it looking? We're almost at her goal. <laughs> wow. All right. All right. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. You know, you're a pretty good entrepreneur. You've almost sold all your candy grams. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me get some more. Oh. <laughs> I am so sorry, Jordan. Uh, I didn't see you there, man. Uh, here, let me help you with that. Dude, twice in one day? <laughs> you must have a death wish. It was an accident, man, I swear. Uh, dude, why don't you take a free candy girl? <laughs> so you're gonna completely soak me earlier, ruin my outfit, ruin my lunch, and your solution is candy? Right, uh, sorry, man. Uh, here, $5, will that cover it? I mean, maybe the food, but 
I'm sure it will wash off. I mean, I have an extra hoodie in my locker if you... Give those back to Blake, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, he can have them back from the trash. Hey! What? Gosh. Oh. I can't believe him. I think it's really sweet what you're doing, Blake. I wish more kids were like you. Keep the change. So, how far away are you from the goal now? Actually, uh, after all the money we made today, I think we're almost there. <laughs> are you for real? You're doing this on purpose. Okay, look, I had no idea you were walking by. I was trying to aim for the garbage, man. You know, I was being nice earlier, but you've taken this too far, Blake. I'm really sorry, Jordan. Can I offer you some freshly squeezed lemonade? You know, I'm good on the lemonade, but uh, I'm sure you'd like some. Wait! What the heck, Jordan? Why would you do that, man? Me? I mean, after all this stuff you've done today to me? Jordan, what's going on? Oh, what? We're just having some fun. It's not right, Blake. All right, well, let's go. We gotta go see your brother. Come on. Why didn't you say something? It's fine. Hey, as long as we hit our goal, that's the most important thing, right? Hey, honey, how are you doing? Did you get to read any of the comic books I got you? Why doesn't he say anything, Mom? Brent's just going through a really hard time. Oh no, honey, your nose is bleeding again. Here, let me help you. Mrs. Brown? Yes? May I have a word, please? So, what's going on? Let's go to my office and talk. No, I don't want to wait. Is everything okay? Yes, and no. Uh, Brent is making significant improvements. But you are months behind in your payments. And according to hospital policy... Wait, wait, please. I am trying. I really am. I understand. But according to hospital policy, we can't treat him. And we can't keep him here. My son has leukemia. If he doesn't get this treatment, he may not survive. I know this isn't easy, but it's not my call. I have no power in this situation. This isn't fair. What if it was your son or, or your little brother in there, huh? Oh, honey, I can handle this. It's I can't imagine how difficult this is. But if you can't clear this $10,000 bill, Brent can't be treated at this hospital. Wait, I, I can help. Wait? What are you doing here? Well, uh, the reason why I've been working all these different kinds of jobs is because saving up to help a family in need and I have no problem helping yours are you are you being serious yeah I've waited a whole year for this that should cover everything you owe plus more god bless you I don't even know what to say well uh take care I better get going wait listen I so sorry about it all, Blake. I understand, man. It sounds like you're going through a hard time. You have no idea. I mean, my dad died last year, and my brother has cancer too. It's just been a lot, man. Look, I'm really sorry you're going through all of that. I can actually relate to a lot of what you're saying. You can? Yeah. That's what inspired me to work hard and help someone. You see, my family's never had that much, but we've always had enough. That is, until my little sister got sick. It turned out she had cancer. We couldn't believe it, especially at her age. 
and to make things even worse, we didn't have any insurance to pay for her treatment and couldn't afford the bill. I went to social media for help. And my parents called all their family. But unfortunately, none of our relatives had any money. So they didn't get anywhere. Right when we thought all hope was lost. It turned out some really nice, generous person saw my link and donated the whole amount anonymously. The only thing they said was to pay it forward. We were all in shock. So you see, that's why I dedicated myself to working hard this past year to help a family going through a hard time. I was gonna do it anonymously, but after hearing your situation, I couldn't wait. Is, is your sister? She's been in remission. Thank God. And hopefully your brother will soon be too. Thank you. I just, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to repay you. Look, man, you don't have to repay me. Just one day, when you're able to, pay it forward. Because if I've learned anything throughout my life, it's that the kindness you put out into this world always comes back to you. So, did you find a family to help? I did, and you're not gonna believe who it is. Oh. Hi, would you have time for another wash? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's just gonna be a bit because I've got another car in front, but uh... Wait, hold up. I can start on it right now. Here, go ahead and you can pull it forward. I'll, uh, I'll take care of it. What? <laughs> Gotta pay it forward, right? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> All right. There I am. Just chilling on my yacht. Who walks over? Elon Musk. No. I swear. And I'm like, hey, buddy. Ah! That's me. That's me. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> oh, my goodness, Jazz. I can't believe it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we didn't know if that was you at first, but now we're freaking out. Can we have a picture? Of course. Yeah. Thank you so much. Wow. When you said that your daughter was in the music, I thought you meant karaoke. No, she's my little superstar. <laughs> Aw, that's sweet. So anyway, what were we talking about? Elon. So I tell Moss, how many uh, shirts... No way! A record label just emailed me about signing me. They said my bonus can be up to $100,000. Wait, did you just say $100,000? Uh-huh. No way. That is incredible. It's all happening so fast. Should I take it? I don't want to do the wrong thing. I'm not sure. I mean, you're very smart. But you are still so young. I think we should get a manager. You know, Jasmine, I used to be a financial advisor to some of the richest people in the world. Like Winfrey, Bezos, Gates. Oh, that's right. You shared the stories with me. Wait, show her the pictures you showed me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite one. Oh. Cool. Who is that? Branson. Sir Richard Branson, founder of Virgin. He had his own record label. Okay. Look, look, the point is, is that I know the industry fairly well. And if you'd like, I could take care of the business side for you. What a great idea. Mike should be your manager. It's like fate. And you're in between jobs right now, right? Yeah. I'm just looking at my options. I got about seven offers right now. I'm just deciding which one I want to take, but I'd much rather be helping you two. Um, maybe I should try things first myself and just see how it goes. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, you could do that. But I'd be careful. They might seem nice at first, but people aren't always who they pretend to be. Some are just wolves in sheep's clothing. And boy, do I know how to spot a wolf. Mike's right. You need an adult with experience. At least take him with you. 
All right, I guess. Jasmine, mm -hmm. trust me. I know how business and money works. I mean, I take millionaires, make them billionaires. I'm sorry, sir. Eric. It seems your card has declined. What? I deactivated this one. I'm waiting for the Black American Express card, and it's taking forever. It's okay, it's okay, I've got oh. it. Here you go. Thank you. Keep the change. Wow. That's talent. <laughs> you can definitely sing. You give me Amy Winehouse vibes. Mm. Right. Let me ask you a question, though. Where do you get your inspiration from? My dad. After he passed away, I turned to music and singing as an escape, and it really helped me through a lot. Oh, that's really touching, and I'm so sorry to hear about your father. You know, I think this would be an excellent time to talk about the advance. You know, what the total sum overall will be. Right. Well, we can definitely start talking about that. We usually start our new artists off with a $75,000 advance for their debut album. Then you would also get 30% for stream revenue and 25% for concert ticket sales. That sounds... A little disappointing. Here's our counter offer. We take some off of the back end and uh, put more money up front. You know, shave down the stream, and the ticket revenue, you know, and just up the advance. Um, so just to be understanding, you want to get paid more now and make less later? Yeah. Can you give us a sec? Sure. Why would we do that? Look, I see this all the time. They shortchange you up front, and then they say that you're going to make all this money in the long run. But the thing is, is that most new artists fail. So you're not going to make the money that these executives projected. You think I'm going to fail? No. Look, all I'm saying is it's better to have a bird in the hand than two in the bush. You know what I'm saying? No. Jasmine, you have to trust me. It's going to be good for both of us. It's going to be good for you. For you. Okay. We'll do it. Fantastic. So we can do 125K up front, but then we're gonna have to take down the stream revenue to 20% and the concert ticket sales will go down to 15%. Which, to be transparent, means she'll make a lot less in the long run if she's as successful as we think she'll be. Perfect. This is great. Oh, and by the way, since she's underage, I wanna set up a trust fund that I can manage. Only her legal guardian can do that. And... You're just Jasmine's mom's boyfriend, correct? Jasmine's manager. But no worries. I will make sure that her mom is on board. Mom, 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 look, my first check just came. Oh my goodness, I've never seen this much money in a check before. This is incredible. And I already know what I'm gonna do with it first. I'm gonna put it toward a new house for you. Oh, honey, that is so sweet, but don't do that. You shouldn't be spending your money on me. But you deserve it. It can be a modest house. <laughs> I hate to butt in, but I have to agree with your mom. You know, you don't want to spend all your money at once. You don't want to end up like MC Hammer. <laughs> the can't touch this guy? He made a bunch of hits, spent all of his money, went bankrupt. There's a long list of artists like that. Look, I'm going to tell you something that sounds boring, but you want to invest in savings and bonds. Mike's right. You need to do the responsible thing. Hmm. And don't worry. Look, when your investments start to gain interest, that's when you start spending. And with my help, you're going to be making more money than you ever dreamed. Mm -hmm. Modest house. You're going to have a mansion, Rolls Royce, spending sprees, your own personal chef. I mean, that sounds pretty cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, then let me set up the bank account and get this ball rolling. Um, can we talk in private real quick? Mike, do you mind? No. Oh, thanks. What's up, baby? Are you sure this is a good idea? You're putting a lot of trust in someone you've only been dating for a few months. Of course I trust him. He makes financial decisions for a living. 
And he got you a hire up front, after all. I guess. I just I feel like this sort of thing should stay in the family. He knows what he's doing. Give him a chance. Mike. Oh. Um, you can open the account if you think that's the wise thing to do. I think it's the best decision you'll ever make. Here, you can sign right there. I'll give you a hand. Oh. <laughs> All right. Great. Here, I'll take this. You know what? You can keep the pen. <laughs> wow, man, you hit the jackpot, man. And to think you were just gonna scam the mom. Now you're coming away with the biggest score of your life. Her daughter, dang, you're lucky. God, calm down, all right? Sorry, man. I'm just saying, it seems like your losing streak is finally over. This is a lot of money. That it is. And if I keep on playing my cards right, there's gonna be a lot more where that came from. <laughs> Got it. Uh, speaking of playing cards, when are we going to the casino? Oh, Todd, my good man, as soon as this check clears, we're gonna hop on the first flight. And Helen's not gonna know anything about it. You wanna know why? Because what happens in Vegas? Stays in Vegas. <laughs> Sweet! I can't believe we're gonna have 125K whoa, to play with. Whoa, 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 easy. It's gonna be a little less than that. Hey, look, man, I gotta make a purchase. Hey, man, I gotta lock down my cash cow. You uh, know what I mean? <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> look, man, when I become Jasmine's legal guardian, I'll be control of her money until she turns 18. Good afternoon, my good man. My name is Michael Keller. I have an account here. There's some overdraft fees, but I believe this deposit will cover that, and then some. Everything okay? Um, what's wrong? Don't you think it's a little strange that as soon as Mike got the check, he went on a business trip, and then I keep texting him and asking for the business account info, and he just doesn't answer? I'm sure he's just busy, sweetie. Meeting with high-level execs. Everything is fine. I just get this really bad feeling about it. We're giving a lot of power to someone who's not even in our family. I don't think I want him managing my money anymore. Okay. If you're not comfortable, then I have okay. to respect that. At the end of the day, this is your career. I have to let you make your own decisions. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Ellen, I got a surprise for you, sweetie. Come on in here. Don't forget to tell him what we talked about. I got you. Ellen, you have made me the happiest man on earth. And I undoubtedly want to spend the rest of my life with you. Not only as your husband, but as the father to Jasmine. Will you marry me? Yes. Of course. <laughs> Oh, honey, isn't this amazing? It's awesome. <laughs> but don't let this affect what we talked about. Oh, honey, no. Now is not the time. And he will be family. So this changes everything. You know what? I left the champagne in my car. Let me go get that. This is the best day of my life. I've got so much feeling bubbling inside And you seem surprised mm, I see your perfect smiles, perfect lies But all you do is I <laughs> Comparing loves and pictures Of glorified depictions Your full-time job of dress-up Doing through. Walk the page 
is not the cover No, your soul's not made to rubber Show me you're not who you wish you Yourself free, please just show me you. All the human is that I supply. You won't look it in the eyes. No, a heart to weapon fear is alien. So you try to disguise competing with the photo. Effects on effects, you know Playing the tough guy's gonna eat you up Walk the pages, not the cover No, your soul's not made to rubber Show me you're not who you wish you Done. I am done, man, and there's nothing I can do about it. It's all right, man. You've had plenty of L's in the past. We just need another good night at the casino after another one of those music checks comes in. No, but you don't get it. There's no more checks. No, Jasmine's turning 18. That means that she doesn't need a legal guardian to take care of her finances. Oh, crap. Yeah. So what are you gonna do when she comes around asking for all that money you've been collecting from her? Oh, that's what I'm trying to figure out, man. I don't know what to do. I lost it. I lost it all. It's all coming crashing to an end. <sighs> Too bad you still can't be in charge of her finances. You know, like Britney Spears' dad did with Britney. Hold on. That's it. Conservatorship. No, listen to me. If she's deemed too unfit, maybe I can and I will convince a judge to be her conservator. Come on. Jasmine is a very smart girl, man. There's no way you're gonna convince any judge of that. If I can convince her mom to trust me, then maybe, just maybe, I can convince a whole court. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You still have that connection with the guy in the pharmacy? Yeah. Call him. Okay, so I was thinking about asking Mike to take some money out of your account to throw you an amazing birthday party. Yes, I love that. Also, I know I'm not supposed to be spending any of my money, but I literally haven't bought anything yet. So I was thinking of maybe taking some of the interest Mike says he earned and using it to buy a new car. Is that okay? You're 18, it's your money. Just be careful. Mike? Hey, Ellen. Here. Did you come in for this? I have something to drink. Uh, this is Barry, a lawyer friend of mine, and I figured it would be appropriate if he was here for this. I was cleaning around the house, and I found these pills in Jasmine's room. Pills? I don't take pills. Well, they have your name on them. I don't understand. Mom, those aren't mine, I swear. Look, I was confused too at first. But then, found her songbook, and I read some of the lyrics. Apparently, she's still depressed about, you know, her father. How dare you take that without asking? That's private. Give it back! Hey, hey, hey. Oh my God, she's clearly unstable. She tried to attack me. Hey, okay. She's clearly on something. Uh He's lying. Okay. What exactly is your friend doing here? <clears throat> Barry specializes in conservatorship, okay? And this just might be the best thing for Jasmine. If she's addicted to pills, she's a threat to herself and to others. And it could be a disaster if she has access to her finances. And that's why I took Barry's legal advice to be her conservator. You did what? Mom, you can't let him do this. How could you do that without talking to us? I can't believe you. Look, before she turns 18, 
and as her soon-to-be father. You're not my father! And you never will be. Trusting you was a huge mistake. Well, I'll see you two in court. Honey, I am so sorry that I put you in this position. You were right, and I should have listened to you. It's okay, Mom. We're gonna fight this. We're not gonna let them get away with it. These test results prove that she's been under the influence of prescription pills. Jasmine claims that the pills were planted in her room, but that doesn't explain how they got into her system. Mm, true, but uh, it was a very little amount. And let's not forget that Miss Ross agreed to the drug tests. She could have flushed them out of her system before taking that test. And let's not forget about the songbook. It was obviously a cry for help. And that's all that my client is trying to do. Mr. Keller is just trying to help her so that she doesn't go down a bad path like so many other young stars have done. Listen to any of my songs. I speak from my heart. Just because I write about how I'm feeling doesn't mean I am in need of help. Was the plaintiff finished? Go ahead. Miss Ross, are you sure you don't want a lawyer to help represent you in this case? Yes, Your Honor. It's hard to trust people these days. Your Honor, we're overlooking a key element here. Michael Keller is nothing but a con artist. That's a lie. Miss Ross, do you have any evidence of that? Yes, Your Honor. When my mother first met Michael, he claimed to be the financial consultant for many different successful people, including Richard Branson. He even showed us a photo of him with Mr. Branson. This is the photo that he showed us. And this is the original photo without Michael yeah. in it. He photoshopped himself. Thank you. Well, just because Mr. Keller isn't friends with any billionaires, it doesn't make him a con artist. Your Honor, that's not all. He claims that I'm on meds. But then I looked more closely at the label, and it's glued on. Underneath is a completely different name. This is all a setup. Your Honor, how do we know that she didn't make the fake label? I mean, besides the pills not being hers, then why did she have drugs in her system? I don't know. I haven't figured that part out yet. Well, this is very interesting. But, uh, Miss Ross, I just don't see any concrete proof that Mr. Keller is a con artist. And after listening to your music and reading your drug test, um, there are some things that are concerning. So do you have any more evidence for the court? Yes, Your Honor. A witness. A witness? Who, your mom? Your Honor, come on. Every mother is going to vouch for their child. I mean... She doesn't want to believe the truth. No, it's not my mother. It's Barry. Or should I say... I'm sorry, man. I got into some trouble and the cops said they would reduce my sentence if I would like, you know... Your Honor, this man's willing to testify against Michael Keller, a.k.a. Brandon Myers, a.k.a. Lester McGrath. He's a known con artist. We've been trying to track him down for years. You little rat. He may be a rat, but you, Michael, are a wolf. Just like you told me. Not everyone's who they pretend to be. Some are wolves in sheep's clothing. All right, I've heard enough. Bailiff, take Mr. Uh, Michael Keller, or whatever you call yourself, out of here. Your Honor. No, Your Honor, you can't do this. I know important people. Yeah, yeah, we all know important people. This case is dismissed. Yes, Mom, we did it. No, honey, you did it. Oh. You are so smart. I should have given you more credit. I just feel so awful. I shouldn't have trusted him. And I'm so sorry that I lost all your money. Mom, it's okay. I'm just so glad he's out of our lives now. This felt like a soap opera. Yeah. 
Somebody should write it into a novel. Yeah, or a song. Show me you not who you wish you were. I want you not who you pretend to be. You feel too. I know it's not just me. Lose the filter. Let yourself free.